We use better bubbles to test our uh, testing procedures for the bubbles, make sure it's not leaking. And uh, you want to just completely dry it out. You don't want anything in there. You see that? That's after 40 installs. There's still a whole bunch in there. It's brand new still. You don't use any product. You just get it all off there. Then you just go over like this and you, you go like and you make bubbles by roughing it up just by roughing it. And you make bubbles. You want to have the bubbles in such a way that it has to penetrate those things. So that if there's any, any gas that are trying to get out, it'll penetrate through the bubbles and do it. So you make the bubbles like when you're doing this. So just everywhere there could possibly be a leak. You simply apply it and just keep doing the same thing. You don't keep up go dipping the thing into more metal bubble. You don't sit there and keep dipping it into this thing. This is it. More than you ever need. You can see how much it makes. You just want to cover every seam to where if it tries to get out, it'll have to force its way through these bubbles. Okay? It's perfect product. It, you don't use any. I've seen people go through bottles of this stuff. What? The hell how? Anyway, you're not doing it right. This way here, you can look at that. If you if there was anything trying to leak out of there, it would try to force its way through the bubbles, and it would just be, you'd be instantly noticeable. It looks like a uh, mushroom cloud on an atom bomb. It just starts building and building and building uh, as the gas tries to go through those bubbles. So anyway, it's perfect. No leaks anywhere. I wouldn't check that the because uh, you're supposed to leave the line set uncovered. So I also tested there. There's no leaks there. So it's totally awesome, and uh, we're all set up. Um, right now we're set up at 500 pounds. This uh, these some of these these inexpensive uh, nitrogen gauges. Nobody wants to pay more than the 40 bucks they sell them on Amazon for. And this is the best one. It's RX Well, but it still doesn't go really much more than 500 pounds. I got it all the way up. Sometimes it'll go up to 600, but not always. So anyway, they're very inexpensive. They're pretty crummy, but that's about the price you're going to get out of it. And uh, it's sad, but as soon as we turn this system on, we will do our final test. See, because the system itself is going to turn up to the maximum rated thing as soon as we turn it on high. And we'll do a final test at the very end before we wrap up our line set and see that everything's still working fine. But so far, this has been 500 pounds for half an hour and it's perfectly fine using these gauges here. Okay, I did these uh, about a half hour ago, um, under 600 pounds of pressure and there's nothing leaking. That's what's nice about this better, better Bubble product. It stays right where it's put through the entire testing procedure. Uh, literally, if there was any gas trying to escape between those seams, look at that. It's completely covered with suds, so it would bubble up and you would see it instantly. So it totally works fantastic. It stays through the entire time. It's totally awesome. Anyway, get the Better Bubble. It's the best. And anyway, we have no leaks.